Hi, I'm Adam Walker, a research scientist at Oxitec. We're a spin-out company from Oxford University, developing new technologies to control insect pests which damage crops and spread diseases. Today, I'm going to talk about our solution to the diamondback moth pest. So why are we talking about the diamondback moth? Well, because it's a major pest of brassicas like canola and broccoli. This one moth costs farmers an estimated four to five billion dollars every year. The male moths are pretty harmless. They just fly around looking for females to mate with. The females are more trouble because they lay eggs on the leaves of the crop plants. But the caterpillars that hatch are the real troublemakers because they eat the crop, causing lots of damage. The diamondback moth lives all around the world, wherever brassica crops are grown. So it's a big problem that needs a solution. So why don't we just control them with insecticide sprays? Well, we can and farmers do. But the trend around the world right now is to reduce our dependency on sprays. Plus, some of these moths are developing resistance to insecticides, so we need new tools. This is where Oxtech comes in. We've developed a new, sustainable and environmentally friendly way to help protect crops against diamondback moth. You see, normally, when male and female diamondback moths mate, they produce lots of offspring and the population gets bigger over time and more crops get damaged as a result but Oxtech males are specially modified to keep the pest population really low and the moths die so they don't stay in the environment. Our moths have been modified to include a self-limiting gene that ensures that only the male offspring survive, so no egg-laying females. Oxtech male moths are then released in stages to mate with wild females and over time there are fewer and fewer females left to reproduce and the population gets smaller and smaller. And fewer diamondback moths means fewer caterpillars eating our vegetables. Let's take a closer look at how we can do this. First, we rear typical diamondback moths in the lab under carefully controlled conditions, similar to their natural habitat. Then we collect their eggs and put them under a microscope to inject them with the Oxtec genes. This is the genetic instruction that ensures that only the male diamondback moths will survive, no females. We inject lots of eggs to find the very best strain of modified diamondback moth and we test many strains over a few years. To establish and maintain a pest control strain, the moths need to be able to survive and reproduce in the lab, so the caterpillars are given an antidote to the self-limiting gene. You can kind of think of it like a switch that inactivates the technology, so we can produce enough males to control the pest population. Only the Oxtec males are released into the environment because they don't lay eggs. They mate with the wild females and pass on the self-limiting gene. In the environment, without the antidote, the technology is activated and the female offspring don't survive. This reduces the number of female moths in each generation to control the pest population. These modified male moths do all the hard work of finding the females to mate with. And although the females can't tell the difference between Oxtec males and wild males, we can. That's because the Oxtec moths also have a coloured marker. This means that farmers can identify the modified moths using a special light and the moths can be tracked at every stage of the programme. We also use the colour for quality control to monitor where they fly, how long they live for and to track how quickly the pest population is controlled. So that's how it works and we're really proud of our pest control solution because we target only this one specific species of pest using the diamondback moth against itself without any spray residues which means other beneficial insects like bees are safe. Of course, the genes die out with the moths, so it's a self-limiting system which provides complete control. And it's got a light environmental footprint, so if we stop releasing male moths, the population could rebuild. Over the past four years, we've rigorously tested the moths in the lab and in greenhouse experiments. The next step will be a field trial with a small release in a limited area to watch the moths under everyday conditions. The field trial is an important step because that's where we test how well Oxtec moths compare against the wild males when it comes to mating. This is part of the regulatory phase, during which we provide all the information and data to the national regulatory agency in a particular country so they can assess it for safety. So far, the results of the test with our diamondback moth males are really exciting. We did a greenhouse study in the UK in which the male moths reduced the pest population by 95% within just eight weeks. Curiosity about genetically modified or GM crops has led to questions about how our GM insect technology compares. 
Although both technologies adjust the DNA of an organism, there are some key differences. For example, GM crops modify the fruit and seeds themselves, whereas we're modifying the insect pest and leaving the food as is. Also, our technology is specific to one species, the diamondback moth, so other beneficial insects are safe. The Oxtec diamondback moth is also self-limiting, so the genes die with the moths and can't spread. Farmers have also asked us how they would apply this product, and that's another benefit of the Oxtec solution, because the approach is very versatile. Small farmers could apply this on their fields, but farmers can also work together in cooperatives to apply the solution to larger regions, so our technology can scale to your needs. But one step at a time. First, we're concentrating on providing the national regulatory agencies with the data they need for independent experts to evaluate the technology for use by their farmers. So that's it. Now you know how Oxitec is working to help farmers protect their crops against insect pests using new environmentally friendly solutions. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to get in touch to find out more, you can email us and you can connect with us on social media. Bye for now.